Hi everyone, Corbin here from Lighting Matters. Today we're going to do a brief video on how to specify and install LED strip lighting for under cabinets, under bookshelves, food preparation areas uh, or accent lighting. So firstly you're going to need some LED strip. Now Lighting Matters has a selection of LED strip in different intensities, colours and colour changing also. Uh, it's also available in cool white, warm white and indoor and even waterproof IP65 rated if that's what you require. Now the LED strips all come in a five meter roll when you buy it and it looks very much like this and at the end you'll notice there's a little tail with a positive and negative wire connected. Now the uh, LED strip you decide to choose for your job depends on the job that you're doing, the application for the LED strip. Now just going back to Looking at the LED strip, it's flexible and it comes with a 3M sticky back on it. Now, for example, on our website you'll notice, you will see that uh, there are three different intensities. So we've kept it nice and easy with low at 4.8 watts per meter, medium intensity at 9.6 watts per meter, and high intensity at 14.4 watts per meter. So low, medium, and high. Now, if it was a job where you are accent lighting or high illuminating under a bookshelf medium uh, sorry low intensity warm white would be perfect for that job but if it was an area where you want more illumination say a food preparation area under a kitchen bench around that area then you might want to use something like a medium intensity warm white just to ensure that there's enough light to illuminate the area you're trying to work in so the next thing you're going to need is some LED strip mounting profile Today's job we're going to be using the slimline mounting profile but we also have corner profiles available. Take a look on our website, there's plenty of different types available per meter. Uh, the benefits of using slimline profile is, or the, the mounting profiles for LED is that it tidies up the job and makes it easier to attach and also acts as a heat sink just to ensure that your LEDs last a lot longer. Now each of the mounting profiles have end caps depending on the job if you require them and they also have mounting clips so it's a lot easier to actually uh, mount the slimline mounting profile to the area you're trying to illuminate. So for today's job what we're looking at doing is we're going to connect one meter of LED strip into a slimline mounting profile, connect it to a driver and create illumination. You're going to need some scissors for this job because we're going to need to cut the LED strip you're going to need a screwdriver so that we can connect it back to the uh, DC driver and other tools that can be used for this job are either strip connectors which are a little bit easier or alternatively if you're going to be using a solder which is going to give it a lot more of a solid uh, connection solder iron is probably advisable now we're going to need a, to allocate a transformer or a driver, an LED driver, to this strip. Now this strip here is a cool white low intensity at 4.8 watts per meter. Now I'm going to measure out one meter length. Now our slimline mounting profile is a meter length so I can use that as our measurement. And we're going to just cut the slimline Sorry. cut the LED strip which is indicated on the LED strip where to cut. Now um, we know that it's 1 meter and we know that it's 4.8 watts per meter so we need to find a suitable driver that can uh, handle that consumption. Uh, here I have a 12, watt, 12 volt DC driver so 4.8 watts we've got enough in this uh, driver to handle 12 watts so we know that it's within its uh, limitations. Depending on the length of LED strip that you require, you'll either have a little tail with a positive and negative wire attached to it, and if you needed to attach more, you can use a LED strip connector. This is a lot easier, and it uh, eliminates soldering, where you can actually slide the LED 
the uh, copper pads from the LED strip into the strip connector, clip it down so that it's uh, nice and uh, strong, and then you can add another piece of LED strip and continue your length. In this application, because we're just doing one meter length, we won't worry about doing that for now. So we have our length of LED strip here, and we need to connect it back to a driver. We'll take our 12 volt, 12 watt DC driver, and what we're gonna do is take the positive and negative. Positive is red, negative is black. It's gonna that into positive to positive and the great thing about this is because it's 12 volt you can do this yourself it's safe to do by yourself so no problems you don't need an electrician and just connecting in the negative okay and before I put it into the slimline mounting profile I'm just going to check it works make sure we've got a illumination and as you can see yep we've got light which is good so now that I've tested it what on my next move is I'm going to put it into the slimline profile and I'm going to use this the actual 3m sticky back oops Peel it off. And I'm going to place it into the profile. Now, the, again, the advantages of using the mounting profile is the fact that it actually gives it a nice smooth surface to actually attach to. If you were trying to put this onto a timber or a rough surface area, it would become quite difficult and it probably wouldn't last that long. Whereas this way, we can push it down and even while I'm working with this LED strip, I'm going to be very careful not to damage the chips because we don't want to break the circuit when we're installing it into our slimline profile. As I mentioned earlier, it also acts as a heat sink, which is great. And from here, I'm able to slide onto the end the diffuser. Slides over nice and easy. And what we'll do is we'll power it up now and just check if it's all good. And there we go. So we've got a nice illumination within its mounting profile, looking quite smart, and it's uh, going to work quite well. Okay, so now I've attached the slimline mounting profile underneath uh, the shelf area here, looking to illuminate down. And I've actually taken the driver and I've tucked it away behind this area here. For your job, you might want to drill through and then bring your wires back through and hide your driver, recess it into a wall, whatever you, you need to do for your job. And then I'm just going to power that up and as you can see you get illumination all the way through here so look if you've got any questions about led strip uh, please feel free to visit our website that's www.lightingmatters.com.au and uh, we can advise you and answer any of your questions otherwise feel free to give us a call on 1300 565 337 thanks